Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to look at how to install the Graze mod. So for those that aren't familiar, the Graze mod allows you to basically edit the map in such a way that your sheep and your cows actually eat, interesting concept, actually eat the grass out of their pasture area. Okay, so in theory the sheep are actually eating this grass, um, but in practice uh, grass is magically being cut and magically being placed into the grass trough for our sheep and for our cows. So let's go ahead and jump to our cows and run over here. We already got Betsy uh, eating here. There is grass in this trough uh, and basically little elves come in here, snip the grass with little baby scissors and place it over here in the trough all magically. So if we look at our animal area, you can see we've got 50 sheep and 28 cows, and we've got grass automatically added to those. We didn't we didn't do anything; it just showed up. Okay. If uh, we go in here and let's take out some more loan just to demonstrate this, and if we run over here. And remember our values. Oops. Mouse wants to double click. 9,800. 7,500. Let's buy another um, 10. Now we will have 38. Okay. So we are at 9,800. And we should see this jump here in a little bit. Boom. 13,300, right in front of our face it jumped, okay? If we pull up the F1 menu, we'll see that we have grass in the cow pasture. We have 58,678 liters. And as the cows eat, okay, let's speed up time. As the cows eat out of their trough, okay, we will see this particular value go down. Okay, it just dropped. To 626 liters. See it drop here one more time. Looking up there at the F1 menu. There it dropped. 573 liters. And basically that's just how it's going to work. The whole time. Let's jump over here to our sheeps. And we'll do the same demonstration. We have 58,651 liters in our sheep. And we had, what was it, 7,500 liters here in our grass trough. Let's buy up some more sheep. Yeah. Buy 11 more sheep. Now we have 61 sheep. Now watch the F1 menu. 58,651 liters. And we should see it drop here in a little bit. The script doesn't run every second. It, runs every so often to uh, calculate out how much should be in the trough. Give it here a few moments. All right, come on. It's already jumped and we've missed it. Oh, it just jumped. Just like anything. You wait for it, you wait for it, and then it jumps. So now we're at 70... 91.50, okay, and we're at 57,000 in one liter. Fast forward time, we'll see that drop as the sheep are basically, quote unquote, eating the grass. We're at 56,970. See it drop here in a little bit again. 56,940. So, what we're going to learn in this tutorial is basically how to prepare the map for the graze mod. We're going to have to edit some files in Notepad++. We're going to have to go into Giant's Editor and do a little work. And uh, when we're all said and done, uh, we'll see how successful we are with getting this stuff implemented. So grab your pencils, grab your paper, and uh, get ready to take some notes. And the best way to watch this video is to pause it after every little section okay 
So the first section we're going to do is basically where to go to get the Graze mod. Then we're going to start uh, diving into editing the map01.i3d file. And there are several little sections that you edit in there. What I suggest you do is you watch a little bit, pause it, and you basically do what you just saw. Uh, and then you start the video and you watch another little bit, pause it, and go do what you just saw. And slowly work your way through it. The slower you go, the better chance hood is that you're going to be rewarded with success. Okay? Everything I did to get the Graves mod working on this map is contained within this video. There is no magic that was done with through through off-camera editing to make this work. Okay? So everything that I did is recorded in the video. Go through the video minute by minute, reproduce it, okay? If you want to download Crawford Farms, it's over at the Mod Hub, Giants Mod Hub. I'll put a link in the map in the description. Um, if you want to do the editing first in Crawford Farms and basically follow along exactly, go right ahead, okay? Uh, if you can basically do any map you want to do to add this in, uh, the numbers that you... Manipulate may be a little bit different, uh, but just take your time, work your way through it. it, will be successful as long as you are extremely attentive to what's going on. So, let's jump over to our web browser, see what we have to do in order to get the Graze mod installed. Alright guys, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got to go to fsuk.com. And download the Graze mod. We're going to go here we are, fsuk.com. We're going to go to download mods. And then we're going to pick the other category. And we're going to go here to grazing animals. And we're going to download this. And uh, we've already downloaded that, but you're going to want to download that. And then you're going to want to scroll down here to the support topic. And in the support topic, you want to go to the second post here. And you're going to want to get the toggle render grazing areas dot zip. You're going to want to download that also. Okay. Now, once you've got those downloaded, uh, go ahead and make a folder. Uh, I made a folder in my desktop called grazing graze mod tutorial. And I extracted the graze mod into that folder. And then I've got the toggle render grazing areas dot zip file um, also in here. We're going to use that here little bit so once you've got that then you're ready to get started so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the graze mod folder and we want to open the readme.md file and we're going to open that in notepad plus plus so i've got that right here already opened up here on my other screen and um we're going to use notepad plus plus because it's a really great uh, text editor for the purpose of doing things like this. I'm going to put a link in the description to Notepad++ so you can download that. The first thing we need to do is we need to edit the map i3d file in the map in the map that we are going to want to use for this um, mod installation. So let me, uh, let me navigate there and I'll uh, be right back. Alright guys, so we're going to use Crawford Farms again uh, for this map video. And uh, if you remember, we used Crawford Farms for the water trough add-on um, uh, tutorial. So we're going to go to Maps, and then we're going to go to Map01.i3d. And this may be called something different uh, depending on uh, the map. But basically, there's going to be a i3d file here, uh, maybe the name of the map. Maybe it's called Map01, but we're going to go in here. We're going to right-click, we're going to edit in Notepad++. And what it's going to do is it's going to open the file right here as a different tab. Okay. Now, for my purposes, I think that uh, basically this is a little bit hard to work with going from tab to tab. So I'm going to click this tab and bring it down here. And... Going to open it into a second 
as my mouse is not cooperating. There we go. Now we've got the file down here open in a second window. I'm going to leave this down here. And we're going to put this one up here. Up here at the top. bit smaller so a big okay now first thing we need to do is we need under the file section to copy these two lines into the file section okay now what I like to do is I like to put this stuff at the end okay so here is the file section I'm trying to just page down till we get to the end there we go. And another way you know you're in is you're at bracket um, slash files bracket. Okay. Uh, so you add a line there and paste those two uh, lines in with control V. And another thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our file ID is unique. So we're just going to add two zeros on the end uh, to be confident that our file ID is unique. We're also going to just do a find. We're going to search 12800. And we're going to just basically see if we have anything else with a file. File ID 12800. And we don't, that's the only one. So we're good to go there. 12800. And that's the only one. So we're good to go there. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to copy our some files into the map01 folder. Okay, you can see here the path is map01 slash and then two file names. Let's bring up our um, our window. I'm going to have to navigate here real All right, so we've gotten to our Graze Mod folder that we set up, and we're going to go to Resources, and we're going to copy these two files. Copy, and we're going to paste them in here. And uh, yes, I've already done that. Just going to paste them in there so that they are now in the Map01 folder. That will that now. And then the next step we need to do is we need to copy this into our materials section. So I like that and hit copy. Go down here and here we are in materials. And once again, we're going to page down a bunch of times until we get to the bottom of materials. Are quite the list of items. Now what's pretty cool is our i3d file is basically just a giant XML file, it's just a giant text file. So again, we want to um, go one line above the bracket slash materials with an S. Paste that in. That's because if you see here, we have material and slash material. We've got several of those materials. So this is basically one entry even though it takes multiple lines that's one entry um, so we don't want to separate that up just paste it in another entry here all right now what we need to do is we need to make sure the material id and the file id are here are unique all right well here's our 128 remember we added two zeros before so we're going to basically reference the file id that we added in the file section so put our two zeros back there and we have the material ID here. We want to make this unique. So let's just add a zero. Add two zeros to that also. Okay. And then it says custom shader ID should be pointing to Windrow Foliage Shader.xml. Highlight that and copy it. Come down here to our Map01 file. I'm going to do a Control F. Find. 
want to find our windrow foliage shader.xml. Here we are, windrow foliage shader.xml, and it's file ID 44. So what we want to do now is we want to undo. So jump us back down here. Now we need to put our 00, zero back down. That's just the fastest way to get back here to where we are. And we want to change our custom shader ID to 44. And now this number uh, will be different for each map. Okay, so for me, it's 44 today. If I do this on another map tomorrow, that shader ID is going to be a different number. That's why we need to look it up. You can't just plug in 44 and say, let's hope for the best, because uh, it's probably going to crash and burn on you. Okay. Now we have, remember, a unique material ID. We have are referencing our unique file ID that we put in earlier. And we now are referencing the correct Windrow foliage, foliage shader.xml here with the shader ID. Let's go down here. Under the layers section, we need to add this information. I like that. Copy. And let's get to the layers right here. So let's go ahead and page down. And there aren't too many of those. So here we are at the bottom of layers. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the rights, the foliage multi layer section. And just for fun, we're going to uh, separate these by a line just so we can see that easily. And we need to make a couple changes to this section. First thing we need to do is we need to change our density map 127. Remember seeing that number before to 127 with a zero zero on the end. Uh, we also need to change our material ID number 265 to 265 with a 00, zero on the end. If we, you remember, uh, we made that change over here. Uh, we changed our material name, grazing mat mask, material ID 265, and we added two zeros to the end of that. Uh, we added two zeros to the end of 127 under the file ID. So we want to replicate those changes down here, okay? Because the file ID, the material ID, need to be unique, okay? And of course, the density map ID needs to be unique, and it needs to match the file ID um, of the first entry. Change that. Change this. And if we look here, according to the directions, it says that we need to... Um, in order to see the layers on the screen, change the view distance of foliage sublayer to a higher value than zero, for instance, to 80. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to change the view distance here to 80. And then we're going to change the view distance in grazing sheep to 80. And then we're going to save this file like so. And then we're going to open the map up in Giants Editor. Okay, so to open the map up in Giants Editor, we're going to go back to our unzipped map here. And we're going to go and we're going to double click on Map01. And it's just going to take a few moments for the map to load up in the editor. Uh, depending on the computer that you've got and depending on the size of the map, uh, it may take longer or less time to get this put it up. And what we need to do is we need to navigate to the cow area. So the way I navigate in the editor is I right click on the mouse button. Then I use my mouse to rotate the camera up and down, left and right. And then I use W, A, S, and D to move around the map. Okay. And if I hold shift, I'll move faster. Uh, if I let go of shift, I'll move slower. Okay. So here is the cow area. Okay. If you weren't quite sure, maybe the map has multiple things that look like the cow area. Find the cow area in your scenograph. Now, this scenograph is laid out a little weird, but uh, it's here under group name somewhere. animals and cow husbandry so we're going to 
cow husbandry. And okay, we can see all that stuff highlight. So we know we are in the right area. Okay. Now we're going to pick our foliage paint mode, the little plant icon up here. We're going to go down here to foliage layer painting. And we're going to pick grazing cows. And the directions here basically say paint grazing cows with channel zero and grazing sheep with channel one. Okay. So we have grazing cows and channel zero selected. Go up here, we're going to change our paintbrush to square. And our left mouse button is add and our right mouse button is remove. So here you can see our paintbrush. We can scroll up and down our center wheel to make that bigger or smaller. And if we left click, you can now see we have, um, let's unclick this and zoom in a little bit. Click, zoom in. Now have this way crazy blue color uh, that's basically marking the area of our mask. Okay, so let's click our little plant again. So we get our brush and let's paint to the edge. What we're doing here is we're basically telling the graze mod where is the grass at. Okay, let's unclick that and then hold the right mouse button down. Scroll sideways a little bit and we're going to zoom in. Um, I'm going to zoom in on the map a little, on, that's not what I want, in a little bit, and let's go ahead and pick our paint mode again, and we're going to make our brush smaller now, okay, because we want a little bit more finer detail, okay, and we want to be as accurate as we can with our paintbrush. Where the grass is. Around. Because this is what, like I said, this is what the graze mod is going to use to establish where the edible grass is in the map. It's okay if we are painting over where there is no grass. Just fill this in. This particular pasture has a fair bit of grazing space, grazing area for our cows. We'll be able to support quite a number of cows here on Crawford Farms using our use model. Paint this in. Scrolling. So, so we could we could make the paintbrush a little bit bigger wanted to but we don't want to be so big that we are getting sloppy with our painting and we're almost done anyway just got this little corner paintbrush again painter Okay, so now we have the cow area painted fully with the uh, with the blue, bright blue um, is my area. It looks like I missed a little spot there. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the sheep area. Let's fly over to the sheep area. So I happen to know that the sheep area is this whole section here and this section over here. So what we're going to do is go down here and we're going to pick grazing sheep. And remember what the direction said, okay? The direction said use grazing sheep with channel 1. So we're going to change channel 0, foliage channel 0, to foliage channel 1. And then let's zoom on. Oh, too far. Okay. Let's paint again. Make sure we have grazing sheep. We're channel 1. And let's... Start painting. Painting. All right. Nothing is showing up. So let's save the map and let's go back and let's troubleshoot what we have wrong. So down here it says exporting. We're going to wait until this is done saying exporting. Say ready. We'll get a line here. Okay, saved, ready. We're going to close this out. And let's look back here at our map. Uh, yes, we want to reload it because we have saved the map. And here we are. And uh, material ID. Okay, so I'm thinking what happened here is that our material ID changed this, but we didn't need to change material ID here. So let's go up here and we need to reference up here. We need to reference the graze mask, grazing mask mat. So let's copy that. Go down here and let's find that. Materiality is 637. Okay. Let's search for Should have searched for much better way. Let's look for using sheep, okay? And let's look for sheep, okay? So 637. Let's save this again. And let's go back here and open up our map. Again, we're going to wait for it to open up. All right, and now you can see where we painted. Okay. Go back over here to our cows. We've got the paint still there. All right. It goes away if we get too far away because we've got that view distance set to 80. Get back down here. You can see. Zoom out too far. We still want to, be able to see. Okay. So we're going to pick our plant again. Go down here. We're going to pick our grazing sheep. And we're going to change the channel back to one. Okay. We're just going to leave it round. Round brush now for nine. Paint this area here. This whole area that has grass that is in the area of the sheep pen. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Okay. See, it's all blue. We were just a little bit too far away. Okay. Paint this some more. 
So the key is, guys, to go slow and make sure that we're referencing the right material. Okay? And that the material IDs and the and all the other ID stuff is unique. I had changed the cow one, but I had forgot to change the sheep one. But what we also noticed is when we hit save, all those ID numbers were changed. Okay. So if you remember, we were adding a bunch of zeros to the end of stuff. But after we hit save, those zeros were gone. The, uh, the file was now, map was, oops. So, had we not saved there, had we backed out and basically lost all the stuff that we did at the cow area, then we would have been able to go in and make that ID the same as what we had made for the cow area. But since we had hit save, um, those numbers had changed. So... Here, okay, keep painting, edge, it's just fill. so. Brush again. That doesn't look like it's showing up. It's because we're too far away. Get down here closer, you can see it's showing up. It's just up oh, there's a section we missed. We don't want to cheat ourselves out of some grass. For a sheep to eat. Okay. That is good enough. All right. So now we have both the sheep and the cow area painted. Okay. So we're going to hit save. Right there. exporting let's take a look at the next set of directions now we need to create a transform group in the root called grazing areas okay in the next level two groups called sheep and cow and within each there should be a parallelogram as they are defined for field depths okay so this is where we're going to let's pull up our um web page with the support page we're going to recreate this okay let's make this and let's put this over here in the corner oops not that far house is sometimes it wants to double click on its own it's so annoying okay and what we're going to do is we're going to make this not full screen this off to the side a little bit get a little smaller okay. so we can see over here okay let's, let's get all the way down here let's collapse this all the way okay and we're going to go here and we're going to get create transform group and here it is we're going to click on that I'm going to go over here to name and we're going to call it raising areas it's the big a and we're going to hit enter and now we have grazing areas okay now we're going to go in there click that to select it create transform group okay pick that and we're going to call this one sheep okay now we're going to do create transform group again. We're going to select it. We're going to call it cow. 
Enter. And we're going to take and we're going to select both of these. Hold down shift and we're going to pick both of those and we're going to go edit. Cut. And again, we're going to select grazing areas and we're going to edit. Paste. Okay, so now we have sheep and cow is within grazing areas. Okay. And we're going to go to sheep and we're going to hit gate transform group all right now it's down here again and we're going to go and we're going to create corner 01 underscore one hit enter and then we're going to create another transform group and we're going to select it and we're going to call this one corner 01 underscore 2. Okay, and we're going to guess what? Create another transform group. And we're going to call it corner 01 underscore 3. Okay, and we're going to shift select both of those. And we're going to go edit, cut, and we're going to collect pick corner 01 underscore one and go edit paste okay so now corner two and three let's, let's cut that out let's paste it back there so now we have corner 01 corner 02 and corner 03 and two and three is a sub of corner 01 so now we're going to select corner 01. We're going to cut. We're going to go to sheep, select it, and paste. All right. So now we have grazing areas with a big A, sheep, corner 01, then corner 02, and corner 03, just like we have over here. We're going to repeat the process for cows. Okay. So we're going to go create transform group. And we're going to then name this, guess what? Corner 01 underscore 1. Enter. I create transform group. Same thing. Corner 01 underscore 2. And then lastly, create transform group. Corner 01 score 3. Okay, now this time we're just going to pick a 01. We're going to cut, edit, cut. I'm going to pick cow, and we're going to do a control V to paste it. We're going to hit corner 101, and we're going to do control X, that's cut. And we're going to pick corner 01 under cows and control V to paste it in. And the same with corner 03. Cut. And corner 0101 and paste. Okay, so now we have the transform groups exactly how they show it here. Okay, let's pick our sheep. Corner 101. Zoom out a little bit. Let's put first corner right here. Okay, so let's pick corner 0101. We're going to do interactive placements under edit. And we're going to pick. Okay. And then we're going to go over here. over here. Okay. 
And we're just doing this because this is kind of an odd shape. We're going to pick corner of 103. And we're going to do edit interactive placement. Stick it right here. Okay. And then we're going to go over here to the woods. And just going to place it right here, just temporarily. Okay. Edit, right to placement, and we're going to stick it right there. Okay. And what we're doing is we're basically defining where the, uh, where the corners are of the area that we want the mod to look for the painted texture. Okay. So let's go over here and do the same thing for our cow area. Right here in this corner. We're going to pick corner01 dot underscore 01. Edit interactive placement. And we're going to slap it right at this fence post. Okay. Go over here. This fence post, and we're going to pick corner02. Interactive placement, and we're going to stick it right there. And then go over here, this fence post, and we're going to put three. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to save this. And I'll show you what now what we're going to do with that zip file that we downloaded. Okay. Can't see the. There we go. It says ready. This full screen again. So now we can close this out and I'll be right back. All right. So here we are back at our desktop in our Gray's Mod tutorial folder with our zip file. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract this. Right to the folder, and we need to basically place this file uh, within our Giants editor location. I'm going to copy this, and then we're going to navigate to our Giants editor, which I think is installed. No, it's not. For me, I installed it on my D drive. It's under Program Files, Giants Software. Giants editor, and we're going to go to scripts, FS17, map, and you'll see here the file is. We're going to go ahead and paste it in there. Okay, place it, doesn't hurt, but that's where we want to put it. So we want to put it wherever our Giants editor is installed. Okay, scripts, FS17, map. All right, once we've done that, we're going to jump back in to Giants editor. Click. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So we are back here in editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick grazing areas. Okay. And then we're going to just explode that just for fun. Once again, we have our transform group structure. As it was shown in the um, in the support topic, we're going to go to scripts, FS17 map, and we now have grazing areas toggle render. So we're going to pick that, and it's going to run. Oh, I have forgotten a step. Holy, holy bejesus! What are we going to do? So you can see down here we have an error. Please add on create to grazing areas. So let's go over here to directions. Got a little bit ahead of myself. So we have created transform group and we've got that structure set up. Now it says the grazing areas transform group parent you need to add a user attribute script callback named on create. Okay. Let's go ahead and just highlight that so we don't have to worry about typing it wrong. Let's go over here to the main grazing areas. And let's go to new attribute. 
going to be paste. And it was a script callback, uh, if you remember the directions. It says create a script callback uh, with the value of this. Now, it says when including the script in a map, the value needs to be this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. Copy that. We're going to do add. Okay, and now that we have on create, we're going to basically paste that in like so and we're going to hit save like so okay now there's a couple other things we need to do here that really are not in the directions okay because if you look here we are now at the bottom oops look here we are now at the bottom of our directions okay but what we need to do is we need to put this script um right here back here at our grazing animals so here's our grazing mod tutorial grazing animals go here source we have these two scripts we need to basically put into our mod desk dot xml okay so here is our mod desk dot xml and you'll see that we need to add these few lines here and these few lines here. Okay. Let's go to extra source files and let's copy those. And let's go over here to our map. First, let's just close out of the editor. All right. Just to be good, let's make sure that we actually saved it after we put that on create in there. Did. Let's go ahead and save again. Just to be sure. Okay, let's close the map out. All right, let's go to our mod desk.xml here in the uh, Crawford Farms root directory. So your map root directory, let's open this in Notepad++. And let's go to our extra file section. We may not have one. We may not. We may have to add it. Just check and see. May be laid out a little bit different. Okay, extra source files. There it is. Let's go ahead and... Add a line under this water trough add-on. Paste. Oh, we don't need extra source files there. Want to add that entry, and we don't need this line. That will mess it up for sure. Okay, now we need to change this path. Okay, we're going to change this to maps slash scripts. Okay, and the same here maps slash scripts okay and then we're going to save this go back over here to maps and scripts okay oops screen here we are Okay, this is where we'll be. Go to source. And we want to copy these. Okay. And let's go here to mod desk to XML. And now we want to copy these entries to mod desk. And we want to go to our L10 in area here with all these text entries and we want to get to the end of that okay here's the end of that and we'll paste that in there okay save it again
then we will jump back in editor and uh, run that script again. I'll be right back with you. All right, so here we are in editor again, and we're going to go ahead and go to pick grazing areas. Okay, then we're going to go scripts, FS17 map, and grazing toggle grazing areas. Toggle render. Okay. Does that work for a little bit? And, oh, we got a big green square, but that is is definitely not what we wanted. Okay. So, let's go over here. This is supposed to be just over the sheep area, but it is clearly all cattywampus. We're going to go to grazing areas, sheep, and now what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate our corners um, so that we can get the green square over the right area. So we're going to pick corner 01, uh, which is down here now. And that one is probably pretty good. What we can do is we can grab this green arrow here and probably move it this way a bit. And we'll probably grab the blue arrow here and move it that way a bit. Okay, and you can see the whole whole green square is moving. Let's grab corner 02, which is over here. Okay, let's navigate over here real quick. And that's probably fine for now. Let's look at corner three. And for some reason, it's way over there. That's not where we want. Okay, what we want to do is let's zoom down here to where we really want it. Okay. And let's do edit, interactive placement, and let's stick it right here. All right. Well, that looks a lot better. Okay, but what we want to do is we want this green area to basically cover the entire area that we painted blue. Okay, so let's take our little blue arrow and drag it. Come on, let's move it this way. And then let's take the little red arrow and drag it this way. Okay. And now let's go over here to this corner. Corner two. And let's take it this way a bit. Okay. Now we are obviously marking a, a larger area than the area that we painted in blue, but we're definitely not excluding any or much, if all at all, any of the uh, blue area. Okay. So that's perfectly fine for our sheep. And what this green area is showing is it's basically telling you where the script is going to be looking for the blue that we painted. Okay. If we don't define this area, it's going to end up scanning the whole map for that and it'll basically slow down performance. Okay. So let's go over here. Now we must have something seriously wrong with our corners because we don't have any square box showing up here. So let's just redo our corner. Okay. So let's go to our cow area and let's pick corner 01. And all right, that is right there. That's fine. Let's see, corner 02 is over there. Okay, where's corner 03 at? Corner 03 is nowhere to be found. So let's go and Stick corner of three over here where we had it last time. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Edit, interactive placement, and boom. All right, now we got our green square. Go. Let's see how well did we do masking our. It's pretty good. pretty good all right. all right well we got a little bit of blue here so let's grab our arrow angle so we can 
grab him back. And let's drag him this way. Let's drag this guy this way. All right. And now we are basically have the whole square area that the cows are going to be in masked off or marked off as well as the sheep. Okay. So what we're going to do is save. Well, now we can go up here and we can go scripts map and we can basically toggle that again to turn it off. Okay. We don't have to, but we can do that. Just turned off. Okay, now let's hit save. And wait for that to finish exporting. Go, we can close this. Let's go back over here to our map 01. So let's reload it. And we need to change the view distances back to zero for our cow grazing and our sheep grazing. Otherwise, we'll see the blue all over the place. And uh, we'll, extra channels is already set to zero for view distance, it's fine. So let's save this. Okay. And now let's jump into the game and see if it all worked. All right, guys, so here we are at the game. We're going to go career, start a new game, just go normal, and Crawford Farms, continue. And we're going to just go ahead and leave all this stuff checked. Look at the log as this thing loads up. And basically what we're doing first time in, we're just looking for errors. I didn't see any errors pop up, uh, so that must mean that we did... A pretty good job with adding the scripts and other things so everything looks good so far um so let's go check out cow area here we are and look at the f1 menu it says grass in cow pasture 72,071 there guys we have got the graze mod working for our cows Pretty good deal. Let's see if we walk all the way over here, or we painted it all the way up to here, and then if we go up, now we are outside the area, and now we're back in it. Okay, run all the way up here. We're going to be able to put support a heck of a lot of cows with uh, this. In fact, we're going to go ahead and buy a few cows. We'll take out some money, buy a few cows. And uh, watch it fill up. Up here. Up. Oh, there we go. So we must have missed painting this little corner. So you can see basically the, the better you do in painting the area, the uh, more grass you'll have available. Um, realistically, you don't want to paint outside of, of this unless you uh, do it by accident simply for map performance and overall realism. See, as soon as we get outside the fence area, technically outside of the graze mod. Let's gun down here. Let's figure out where our is at. And let's take out a little bit of a loan and uh, we'll buy some cows. Oh, fine. Borrow some money. Should be good. And buy up some cows. Let's buy up some buy 28 cows. Boom. All right. And we'll give the uh, script just a few moments to work here. It's not instantaneous. There. Cow, the grass in a cow pasture has now jumped down to 62,271. So if we look here, we will see that we now have 9,800 liters of grass in grass trough, courtesy of the graze mod. And you'll see over here we have sheep. We already own 50 sheep, and we already have 7,500 liters 
of grass in the feed trough courtesy of graze mod so after a little bit of time will lapse we'll see grass actually appear here in the grass trough let's jump over here to a sheep pasture here we are in our sheep pasture and we have 58,571 liters of grass available now for our sheep to eat courtesy of the graze mod pretty cool guys so that's basically how you do it uh, it's take your time work through it slowly be sure to change the file IDs and um, other IDs that are being referenced uh, if you get into the editor trying to paint the area and it's not showing up then you probably have forgotten to change this material ID okay to match the uh, the material entry the second entry that we put in here under materials so let's look at that to materials here on this particular map that's for sure So you probably forgot to change bottom. It's reorganized it. Ah, so we'll need to match the material ID of the grazing mat mask with uh, find it. The, oops. So their foliage, their foliage material ID here and here. Okay, so I changed it for cows and it showed up. When I went and started painting it for the sheep, it didn't show up. So I had to get out and I had to fix this material ID reference. And then once I did that, it did show up. Remember to change the view distance to 80. You're painting, and when you're done painting, change it back to zero. Um, that way. You won't see it here in the game. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comments how uh, you like the Graze Mod. I really like playing with the Graze Mod because I like now that, that the animals actually eat the grass out of pasture here. Until next time, guys. Happy farming.